welcome back to the channel and today we're gonna be reacting to sleeper train to the arctic circle will we find santa let's see the blank willie and elsa he just before midnight and travel overnight for about 12 hours through finland deep into lapland where we hope to meet santa in his official home near revenue our journey begins in helsinki it's the world's northernmost city with more than 1 million residents where the temperature here has dipped and the Ooh. intermittent snow reminds it us it doesn't show any the numbers past no no zero, zero. It's literally zero. Really? Yeah. Mm, that's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> zero. <laughs> zero. Zero Celsius, so 30, mm. 32 Fahrenheit. Mm. Right time of year for this trip. This is going to be the furthest north I've ever been in my life before it was Fairbanks, so this is even more north than that, 66 degrees for it to be exact. This is also probably the most bundled up I've ever been in my life. It's only going to get colder. The first tracks here were constructed in the 1860s, but the station wasn't when built until 19. zero degrees celsius do you ever feel like you're warm enough or is it you're still what feeling you sensible warm like can you really dress for a zero degree celsius and feel warm or do you still feel zero cold? yes so was it yes what what no zero yes you can dress and feel okay with zero. Oh, okay because i thought you still feel uncomfortable no you can put it's just no. it's a little bit like no, a little no bit big. zero is okay now i would say starting at like negative you need better equipment, no? Ne negative 20, I don't know if you can dress and feel warm at negative because 20. Because remember uh, we saw in slow bod, slow bod, where there's only 30 people? Oh, in our, uh, slow, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Um, yeah. They had these special suits to even get into this water, and I know this water is really, really cold. Hmm. Yeah, uh... That was interesting. I You've been in zero degree, zero degree Celsius before. Of course. Oh, I don't know. No, zero degree Celsius is like every winter. Like oh. that's that's the fall weather. That's not normal to me. That's why I ask you. No, zero Celsius is okay. No, as far as the water, what you're talking about, I don't really know. Those are some sort of thermal suits. Yeah. Yeah. That's different. Um, the thing in winter what really like kills it is the wind chill. if there's it's windy and it's like negative 20 and it's windy that fucking wind in your face oh my god it's, mm. it's, it's cold but zero is open. you can dress for zero for as i said because usually for us negative 25 you have to go to school mm. it's just too cold so yeah so we would hope for negative 25 mm. for me then i must be doing something wrong because even at 65 i still feel cold well, 65 uh, Fahrenheit, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, no. In 19, what was once the ticket office is taken on a new purpose. <gasps> wow, the that's beautiful. To, to be fair though, in your defense, you get used to it. Like, I'm sure right now, if I would go back to zero, I would be like, oh shit, this is cold. Mm -hmm. But I'm just saying for zero, you can dress enough layers where you're not freezing. Like, you're not cold, you're okay to be outside at zero. Like, as you, you don't go outside at negative 15, you would be outside. Like, you just, you know, you know hanging out outside mm -hmm. is okay. But yeah, negative 20 is like that, where you're like, oh, I don't really want to go outside. Music. It has the power to connect, to heal, and to move. Since the station was designed by Elio Saren, father of Aero, who would go on to design Dulles Airport, among others. Wow. The sun sets early in Helsinki, about 3.30 in the afternoon, but our train isn't due to leave until almost midnight. Oh. Back inside, the clouds had died oh. down significantly by the Why time we were this the early? Board, 30 minutes before our departure. Well, let's go. Perfect timing. The train is just arriving to Platform 8. <laughs> let's get on board. This is like Harry Potter. Platform was platform full of other... It was eight and like three quarters or something. Like yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. Eager yeah. yeah. for our ultimate destination. It's happening. We're gonna find a big guy. I just know it. This train. Oh wow! They even put logos of Santa on the train. That's cool. Mm. Seven sleeping cars, two coach cars, and one restaurant car called the food wagon. Oh, this looks nice. Car car is located at the very front of the train, just behind the engine. And that meant the first time whoa, we ever boarded a train whoa, in the snow. This is just like why they have to walk all the way this way? I thought the train came in front of them. I've never been there, I can't tell you. Our room located upstairs toward the front of the car. This wow. is a unique feature that was the first for us. This is nice because usually the train it opens, you get in, and if you don't get in, it closes, that's it. Well, this is like their boarding, it's still the boarding process. Mm -hmm. So you board the train the same way as you board a plane. Mm -hmm. It's not like a you know like oh what you talk, think about is like metros mm -hmm. they're like on a schedule running running. This is like the initial boarding, mm -hmm. so it's a little different. 
We're now on board the Santa Claus Express, and we've wow. stepped into our room. So wow. that is all the cooking for oh us. My and gosh. Why, are, why is this a pet room? <laughs> like, there's a dog bowl here. So this was a date we needed to go on, and this was the last cabin on this train. Like, you're thirsty in the middle of the night. There's, there's your water bowl right there. Rooms like this upstairs are the largest on the train. Downstairs, there are more sleeper rooms, but those uh, don't have all suites, so you've got a shared uh, are they bathroom traveling shower. Far? Uh, so this is a great space. We'll have plenty of time. To uh, well, it's over in that train, so it's, it's pretty, train. I think it's pretty far. Mm. It's like, uh, what, eight hours or so? Mm. We're in course, but uh, it's about time to get out of Helsinki and head north. There we go. I don't know. <laughs> Getting in the mood. Can you imagine the dollar store? Yeah. Oh, what a bargain. I can't imagine that that would be where you would find that. I mean, it's my fault. I'm tired. I would act like a chair. Because my favorite line is to head back four cars to the dining room. Oh, whoa. There's a comprehensive menu of hot and cold food. Whoa. A lot of plenty That's of drinks. That's a spot again. That's like a lounge. Long drinks, wow. Long drinks, long drinks, long drinks. And with meatballs on... You've never been on a train? Mm, not like this. The train that, we, that I've been on is like a... Um, Metro. No. You've been like no. in a city train? In a city train. Like in from like from Miami to West Palm Beach. It's still to me. And you like, sit you sit and you go. That's like a metro though. Like that They don't have this service. Yeah, no. This is like I feel like it's a standard for any train. There's a new one that they just made. They say they have premium luxury services where they can give you drinks, like a plane, but it's not like this. I think once they mm -hmm. build a train to Orlando, I think it will be like something like, like this. Like that, yeah. Oh, I did not go. On the menu, we all know what happened. These are really popular. Yeah, the meatballs, yeah. I'm, su I'm surprised they didn't have the cranberry, the 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 but I don't know, 12 hours in work and find space? The they take up more space. Well, you go I out, you can go eat. You can go eat like there's a lounge, you know. Space that attracts ladders. But also well, see much sleep more day, but, so, you know. There's even a small stool built in here. It's perfect for looking out the window. Just wait for what we're going to see tomorrow. It'll blow your mind. It's it's not, because like, imagine, you close the door, it's like a little box that you're in. I'm gonna yeah, but it's, it's, it's an overnight train, so you sleep, what, eight hours, then, you know, you, like... You wake up, you can you know, go eat for an hour or so, and then if you mm -hmm. have like your laptop, you know you're on the laptop for mm -hmm. like three hours. It's not, it's not that bad at all, I think. And for the greener grass, take that. Like for me, this is better than taking a plane because a plane is oh. like, if you take a plane for 10 hours, you, it's, it's just uncomfortable. You sitting here, you get a whole oh, bag yeah, and everything. Oh yeah, for 10 hours, I can. Yeah, this is 10 hours. I would have to stand up to some stretching. Yeah, this is 10 hours, Ooh. sounds good. I don't know, I'm just not that bad. Longer than the tape measure. This bed is 76 inches long, 28 and a half inches wide. There's even space in the upper bunk to sit up all the way. That's like the room itself is not it's very wide. wide. It's a cozy room, but it's really all we'll need for the next 12 hours. Mm. I think I would be like in the lounge. Make a meal out of your next deal with American Express Business Platinum. Immensely practical with everything oh, you'd wow. expect in a space like this. A couple of great features of this bathroom. First, the floor is heated, so my feet are warm right now. That's wow. great. Uh, How much was for all this? The second thing he, he said wait till the end to find out. Oh. Is how easy the shower is to convert. We look at this. Wow. So convenient. Wow. Wow. Is that mean you're going to take a shower? This is only 12 hours. What's the point of that? <laughs> Wi-Fi access is available throughout the journey, and it was reliable and fast enough for browsing. Because if you take a shower and you like hot water, you're going to steam up the whole room. <laughs> well, it's nice to car, enjoy a, a drink and a late night snack, but it is after midnight, so I think it's time for us to go to bed. A little known fact, I always sleep in this hat. <laughs> if he knows when I'm sleeping and he knows when I'm awake, I think I'm going to sleep pretty well on this train, so that's good news for the big guy. I was also glad to have this little panel here, which had room for a water bottle and a socket. There's a light here. I think I don't see is a TV. Where's the TV? <laughs> <laughs> you want TV? The, open the window and watch the nature. That's your TV right there. Ge National Geographic right there. I know what I'm asking. It's like a hotel. This year, but hotel on wheels. Oh, this That's nice. I, I, I like that. It's nice. It's nice. Good morning. 
like imagine like a hotel are. like you're trying to go someplace and you say like in a hotel it's not it's, it's, it's a really nice. nice it's nice i, I would like that 30 so uh, continuing this journey north uh, the sun's not gonna be up for a while but uh, i guess i'm up for now it was a good night of sleep it's a pretty comfortable bed didn't feel much movement it's probably tracks, sleeping he's touching so that bodes well for uh, the rest of the trip all the way north for the next hour or so i watched the countryside pass by we made our way over rivers, through small towns, That's cool. and had our fair share of stops as we glided past this winter wonderland. Wow. Eventually, it was time for a cup of coffee, so yes. I made my way back to the restaurant car. It was pretty empty in here at this early hour, so I was able to get some work done wow. before it was time for another cup of coffee. A cup of coffee and some cookies. Only one year up. Um, we passed one of the other fleet care facilities, and then the beautiful station in Ulu, which was built back in 1886. Um, just then, Suzanne joined the me for breakfast. Suzanne had a breakfast combo that that is kind of interesting considering they said that oh it's the last available seat yeah. but there's really no one there so uh, I, I mean I'm not saying it should be bad but still and porridge, coffee and juice. As for me, I just had an omelet with frankfurters. They give you omelet too. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Really good. Fluffy. We made our way back to the room. And the views became practically otherworldly. That breakfast was just as wow. good and better than dinner last cool. night. It was really fresh and delicious, and the service in the restaurant car has been fantastic. You know, it's quite dangerous to drive in the snow. This is yeah. very safe. But you can also have food delivered to your room. So the doctor to place your order. We chose not to do that because we didn't know when we wake up. Now, it did get pretty busy. Doing the Arnold Schwarzenegger so movie. So it's a popular place for no, sure. No, TV show. So uh, make sure you give yourself a little bit of a wiggle room if you're going to head out there. There's just nothing like waking up a train, especially that's nice to a scene like this. Snow. That's pretty. This is maybe the ultimate expression uh, of the rail zone. Uh, it's hard to tear my eyes away. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. All the so animals, they're not there. We're very far. <laughs> it's too cold. We still have one more hour left on the train, and I think we're going to take advantage of all of these views for as long as we can. Yeah, that's cool. This time of year, there are two departures every night from Helsinki up north. We chose the later one, not because we're night owls, but because of this. We wanted to get some daylight in the morning. The other departure would be completely in darkness because we get to about 80, uh, I think it's around 8 a.m. So you'd be completely in darkness the whole time, given the late sunrise. Wow. That's trippy. No, this is the fact that, you know, you're traveling through night. This is really good. Mm -hmm. It's really convenient. You just sleep most of the time. There's a reindeer! Santa's gotta be close. And he only slept for five and a half hours, he said. Now, I don't know if he's like, that's how you usually sleep. So maybe it was like uncomfortable because, you know, I I think it's possible. If it's comfortable, you can probably sleep longer mm -hmm. than that, like at least seven mm -hmm. hours. Maybe now. he's just excited too. Maybe. Um, you're, you're, you're revenue me, but the trip's not over yet. We still gotta find the big guy. This is a regularly scheduled service of Finland's government-owned railway company, VR. We booked the trip on the company's website, which I'll link below. Now, our cabin for the two of us cost 179 euros total, or about 195 dollars. We arrived right on time to a very chilly day. Total no, or for each place to be and people to see. We immediately hopped on a bus for the 30-minute ride to the official office of Santa Claus just outside Rovaniemi. We are up there now. Lapland has been home to Santa Claus for centuries, and this village, directly on the Arctic Circle, is its official headquarters. Found. We're headed in. We did. We got the, to meet. We saw the other couple do this. Santa Claus. And when we did, we asked for one thing: that each and every one of you have a merry Christmas and happy holidays. Between now and the next time, see you on the rails. <laughs> Wow, this is interesting yeah, and very cool uh, train experience. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, wait, they have bloopers. Hold on, let's watch that. Oh, bloopers. Now, this is wondering, and lasting a long time, it is. Uh, I'm going to stop talking at this point. It takes me back to college. I used to drink junk juice. I'm thinking maybe my hat is like wearing white in the wedding. Maybe I shouldn't be wearing this here. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm committed and it's warm. Oh. I don't like cold weather. <laughs> this is a lot. I have six layers on it. I wonder if I north or south. Six layers? It's only negative seven they showed. You don't need six layers for that. Okay. Mm. Guys, of course, let us know your thoughts. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Join the Discord. And as always, 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 share as much kindness as possible.